It's harvest time in the UK, and this month, on behalf of the Capriolus Club, I've been asked to check out an area of land that is just an unbelievable half hour away from the City of London. It's thick with fallow deer and in desperate need of some deer management. Deer management is not just about deer killing, it's about selecting the right animal. Okay, so really nice that one. Just about 30 yards, no more than that, up ahead of us. We had two lovely bucks. Uh, maybe not master bucks, but certainly sorrels. You could see their antler growth was uh, becoming quite significant. We let them be. Nice easy shot if I'd wanted it. But over here, we're trying to keep our master bucks and our more mature bucks. And we're actually only trying to shoot prickets. Often with a, with a group of males you will get prickets in amongst them, but on this occasion there was just one darker fallow, a menalistic, and one lighter coloured one, a menal fallow, uh, both just browsing there in the wood line. We're not trophy hunting today, we're here for the prickets, and so we move on. It's only by culling out the breeding population that you will effectively reduce numbers. However, the does are not in season until the 1st of November. This is really exciting. I've never stalked this bit of woodland before. And we've picked a nice tree here to set my back against. And I'm surrounded by fallow deer. We've got them in front of us here, off to the left, and off to the right. Little pockets, little groups of fallow everywhere. So I think it's just a waiting game now. I'm going to sit tight. And hopefully we'll find that a pricket wanders out, or that there's a, um, a suitable male amongst the group and we'll get a good backstop and we'll take our shot but uh, it's early days we're just going to wait and see what happens nonetheless some of the population can be culled out during the early part of the buck season and that's what we're aiming to do today on this ground, there's a serious need to be reducing the number of deer. However, it's sometimes difficult in the summer to locate the males. got to admit being a little bit frustrated here we were we were stuck in the wood uh, a little bit further back and it was all does around us we were surrounded by does and then off to my left here we saw our first pricket and as is typical at this time of year the male and the female herds are separate and what I realized quickly realized was he was part of a little buck herd and we've tried to get up on them, but all they've done is just stay 
one step ahead of us. And amongst them were a couple of really nice mature bucks and maybe at least a half a dozen prickets. And they've just wandered, not more than 100 yards away, but they're constantly just wandering just one step ahead of us in the, in, in the thickness of the wood. We'll try and get up on them, but once they've got an inkling, inkling that you're there, it's uh, very difficult to outwit them. Uh, nonetheless, we'll give it a go. See that they're still there against the bank, the, uh, against the side of the hill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up here, and if one of them drifts down, they're skylining a bit at the moment. But if one of them drifts down the bank, then we might well be in for a shot. Again, it comes back to a waiting game now. You see, I should know better, really. I couldn't help but resist the temptation to push on. Instead of waiting for that buck to settle, that, sorry, for that herd to settle down and start spreading out. Instead, I pushed on and they've carried on as well. And it's getting to the point now where you can't keep following up on these deer. Once they're aware of you like that, they'll constantly be looking, checking over their shoulders and all that's going to happen, it's going to be a cat and mouse game of just uh, pushing them on further and further until eventually they're on someone else's land. So I'm going to know when to quit here. I'm going to back off. We're going to come around at a different angle and see if we can uh, either get up on them from a different angle or else come across a different group. Okay, so this is where deer management is uh, really, really important. Um, we've got a lovely patch of woodland here. You can see that we've stalked around it probably over the last half hour, and it's thick with fallow. And the net result is, if the numbers get too high, they decimate the woodland. And if you have a little look through here across the forest floor, you can see that it's completely bereft of any ground cover. Deer management is absolutely crucial to the environment and the preservation of these beautiful areas of woodland. Nonetheless it's been a wonderful opportunity to assess this beautiful area of land. So that's it for this month. It's been a great morning and a fantastic opportunity to see so many deer. No doubt we'll be back in the months to come when we hope to have more success. <laughs>